So we have an environmental problem in which millions of birds, not only in North America, but the world over are dying, flying into glass that they don't see. Naturally, uh, solutions are uh, on everybody's mind. We need to use responsible methods that are going to be acceptable to the building industry to protect the animals we seek to save. Consequently, uh, over the years, uh, in my long career of studying this issue, I have conducted a number of detailed objective experiments to reveal what it takes to transform a window whether it's a see-through window or whether it's a reflective window into a barrier that birds will see and avoid. Uh, this has been referred to as the two by four inch rule because if we use pattern elements that uniformly couple a window and we separate them by four inches or 10 centimeters vertical, vertically in, uh, in columns or two inches uh, horizontally in rows, uh, this transforms the glass into a barrier uh, that birds will be able to see and avoid. It's also very important to realize that these patterning has to occur on surface number one, uh, simply because most windows provide an illusion of the reflection of the facing habitat in the sky. And without having that patterning on surface number one, that reflection hides the very pattern that are designed to protect the birds. It turns out that we know that there are patterns that are visible to both birds and humans that we can, ply on, that we can place on windows that will protect the animals. Uh, they'll be able to recognize those windows as barriers to avoid. But I've often described the most elegant solution is to replicate those patterns, but using ultraviolet signals. Now these patterns are uh, elegant, again, because we preserve the window that humans enjoy so much being unobstructed. However, the birds, again, are capable, based on the results of my experiments, to recognize these ultraviolet patterns. And they are applied both as reflection and absorption, contrasting elements, just like the visual patterns are applied using the two by four inch rule. So we need to have these patterns in these detailed dimensions covering the window uniformly, and we have to have it on surface one to one to be most effective.